Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing uh, the old game Blood uh, Fresh Supply. Now this mod should work with uh, either version you have of the Blood game. Uh, I did a video with this one the other day running Shadow Warrior. And I also have another video showing uh, Blood being run on the uh, N-Blood port. Now that one does look nice also. It does run well. This is however the... Uh, what video I'm going to show you now on how to use it with uh, with this source port here, Raze, this looks even better. So if you guys want to go ahead and give this a shot, go ahead and open up your browser. We're going to travel over to the uh, three links that I have posted in the video. So we're going to go over Raze. This is the website here. We're going to go ahead and download Windows 64-bit. Then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and download the Blood Upscale Pack. Link is right here, so download that, and then also the voxel pack, and that's on the third link. And then go ahead and download that one. All those files are going to go to your uh, downloads folder. So once you have that, just go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder, and you're going to have something like this. I don't have the raised one in here because I've already you know have that installed, but just, just uh, this is just to show you guys how how to do it. So this one is a little bit different than the instructions for N Blood. The setup for this one is a little bit uh, you know, just a tad bit more complicated, but as long as you follow this, you'll be good to go super quick, especially if you already followed the video on the last one on the Shadow Warrior. So let's go ahead and go over to the folder that has the game. So you're going to have something more like this on your, uh, you know, hard drive once you have the raise installed. So go um, on the Blood Upscale Pack, you're going to go ahead and uh, right click on that. You're going to extract it to its own folder. Now this part here is where uh, it, it's a little bit different, so make sure you do it this way. So what you're going to do is open up this folder. You're going to be presented with this folder. This was for the NBLOOD install. We are, however, not using NBLOOD. We're using Raze. So what we're going to do is go into the auto load folder. You're going to copy both of these files. You're going to make a folder in the game directory over here to your right and you're going to call that blood upscale so once you have that folder created just go in there and you're going to drop both of these files from the auto load folder you're going to drop those in here and then you're going to do the exact same thing with the voxel blood uh, version 0 0.95 we're going to put that in a folder on the right that's literally all you have to do is just a little bit different than the last install but probably, you know, just as simple as long as you follow along. So once you have that done, you should have, you know, something more like this on your computer. Now, the only extra step is here. Go ahead and run raise one time because I believe you have to run it at least once to get a, a config file created. So go just, uh, you know, go ahead, run that real quick. And then uh, once you have that shut down after you've run it, you should have a... Uh, a file in your documents folder which looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to that right now so you should have a file in there that says raise so you're gonna go in there you're gonna open up this uh, INI file the config settings click on that and you're gonna add these two lines right here you're gonna see these here so you're gonna take that and I'll post the, you know, the cut and paste on that in there. And then you're going to be good to go. Norm normally when you do this, they tell you to install the voxel pack in the auto load folder. But for this one, it's different. So like I said, as long as you follow this, you'll be okay. So once you have those uh, lines created in your uh, INI file, if you don't have Shadow Warrior, you're not going to see this. But like I said, this is from the previous video that we did on Shadow Warrior. So it's very similar to that one. But as you can see, we're going to do it this way. So once you have that done, go ahead and save that uh, INI file. Now, when you launch your game, you should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is launch this and just show you guys uh, what I did as far as the settings to get it to look as good as it does. So we're not going to launch the uh, regular one. We're going to launch it with the raise executable. So we're going to launch on that. And then, you know, depending on the blood version that you have, you may or may not have the uh, cryptic passage, uh, you know, expansion pack. So if you just have blood, just go ahead and launch that. I prefer to use Vulcan. If you want it to look like it does on the video, go ahead and uh, just follow the you know the options that I have here. Load lights, load bright maps. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go through the settings that I put in here for you so you can get it to look more or less the same. So 
So once you have it up, let me go ahead and turn off uh, reshade. And then that way you guys will notice whether you want to have that installed or not. So we'll jump out of this. So this is just the Ray's engine running. So we're going to go ahead over to options. Let me change this so you guys can actually see it correctly sized on the window. So basically, if you guys want, just go ahead and follow the settings that I have on here. I'll leave this up for a few seconds. And you know, the FPS is totally up to you, whatever you guys have on your system. Just remember, whenever you make changes in this window, go ahead and hit apply changes. And as you can see, that rescale it. So you guys should not be seeing the video the correct size. So jump out of there, and then we're going to go into the other display settings that I set up. So for render options, I don't think I changed any of these. So just make sure they match what you see on here. Now this you can go ahead and put on if you have a, you know, like a super top line computer, because this may slow down your, uh, you know, the frame rate, but that all depends on you guys. If you want to go ahead and put the bloom effect, feel free. Then you have these other settings. I do have them off. It's up to you. You can go ahead and turn these up if you want. So we'll go there. Texture options. Now this part here is what kind of smooths it out even more. So I have it set to the XBRZ. Then I have the resize multiplier set to six. Now keep in mind, if you want to do this, you got to make sure you have a lot of memory and a, a you, you know a computer that can handle it. All I have is a Ryzen 5600G for the uh, you know the uh, CPU. It has a built-in uh, card. I do not have a separate uh, you know AMD card. It's just that stock. That's the way my computer came. But I have no issue running it with these settings. So we'll go ahead and jump out of here. And then the other ones, you know, it's just the standard stuff. You definitely want voxels on if you want to see the uh, the uh, benefit of downloading the voxel pack. I have the bopping off. This other stuff here, this is all independent. It's not going to change the way the game looks, just the way it behaves, with the exception of these two at the bottom. So I have trilinear uh, on. And then the uh, anisotropic filter is set to 8x. Multi sample, I also have off. That's up to you if you want to turn it on or off. And then once those are set, I'm, what I'm going to do is go ahead and launch the game here real quick. I'm going to play through it a little bit. That way you guys can see what it looks like. So this does look even better than the uh, the end blood port. Now, what I like about this one, it, it does tend to smooth out the. Uh, you know the the graphics a little bit more than the end blood as you can see they're uh you know kind of more blended in more blurry with the end blood uh you know a lot of people that use that's because they like the game to look a little bit more stock where the images look really sharp and a little pixelated but i prefer to run it this way but you know like i said this is all your preference so this is how it would look with this mod here and then you can see the voxel pack you can actually go around some of the uh the 3D voxels versus the, uh, you know, the old school way of it just spinning around as you go around. So we'll go a little bit further here. Okay, and then I'm going to concentrate on the graphics here so you can get a sense of how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and activate reshade and that way you can see what it looks like with the reshade on. There is a video on how to use reshade if you're interested. That's also on the list of videos that I have. I'm going to go ahead and just brighten it up a little bit more. So we'll just go ahead, I'll play this to the end of it. 
Uh, but basically, the setup is already done. You can go ahead and just keep watching and want to see what it looks like till the end of the level. Shortcut through the window is a quicker way to go through this. And there you go, that's the end of the level. So that's how easy it is to set that up if you guys want to go ahead and use it that way. So we're all set with this video. You guys have a good one. Go ahead and give that a shot if you've never played it with the Raze engine before. We'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon.